Hi, I'm Brittany Montez, and this is the Orlando Health News Review for June 14th. Recently, Orlando Health Arnold Palmer Hospital for Children and Orlando Health Winnie Palmer Hospital for Women and Babies, in partnership with the Pediatric Palliative Care Team, invited families to join in honoring the memory of their child who was lost in a remembrance procession. Family members and team members gathered in support for a reflective walk to remember and honor each child while sharing memories and stories. Each family is invited to have a poster uh, where it can have a child's uh, representation of photo or a meaningful symbol, has their child's name represented. Some families sent in their poster from several states away and maybe they're not able to attend, but they're still wanting their child to be represented in, in this event. We know through research that uh, for families that have had a child die, reconnecting with their healthcare team promotes additional emotional healing and uh, the families then realize that we still remember them and we want to continue to honor their child even in the midst of their grief space. And recently, the 10th annual Art Seats Medicine Virtual Showcase took place, benefiting the Arts and Medicine Program at the Orlando Health Cancer Institute. The showcase features over 100 art pieces created by cancer patients and their caregivers, exploring creative ways to bring hope to healing. After my cancer diagnosis, coming to the Arts and Medicine Center, I have done things that I have never dreamed of doing in my entire life. I love painting, I love creative writing, and the yoga is not only helpful for the neuropathy, it's also the fellowship with other ladies and with the instructor. It's very, very, very important to your healing to have some Thing, um, to take your mind off. When I do the art and when I paint, it's soothing because it takes your mind off what your, what your experience, any pains or any side effects of cancer, it just takes that right out of you and it's very soothing. When I went to the gallery to see my work, I could never ever imagine myself as being an accomplished painter to create something that would be displayed in an art gallery. And recently, in honor of Men's Health Month and Bayfront Health being the official healthcare partner for the Tampa Bay Rowdies, Rowdies players stopped by to surprise team members. The players thanked our team members, took photos, and even brought some fun Rowdy swag. And recently, Orlando Health Advanced Rehabilitation Institute, the Roper YMCA, and several community organizations held the inaugural Healthy Community Day of Action. This free event invited the community to participate in activities and get information and prevention resources, including yoga and stretching classes, mindfulness art activities for children, and a free YMCA Zumba class. Orlando Health provided free health screenings, fall prevention checks, and adaptive equipment adjustments, and connected the community with local fitness resources for health and wellness information, and community organizations that assist with housing, employment, clothing, financial, and food resources, including services for individuals with disabilities. At the event, Orlando Health also provided free helmets for children and adult workout clothing, along with a bike and scooter giveaway, all donated by Orlando Health team members. Well, that's it for today's edition of the Orlando Health News Review. We'll see you next week.